Hello guys, welcome back to Papers Bird Pit. Today I'll be teaching you the literally the simplest model I know. So if you're very new to origami or you haven't done any origami yet, I highly recommend it doing trying this. So start basically it's literally four steps, maybe less. It's literally that easy. So but don't feel bad if you can't do it. Because it's not the easiest thing in origami. But I designed it and it, well I technically designed it, yeah, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. So, start by folding in half diagonally. The cool thing about this origami, if you don't make perfectly accurate creases, it doesn't matter. It's still going to look really cool and do its purpose. And so, um, if you're, if you're wondering what this it is, it's an origami bookmark. It's really useful, and it actually works per really well. So, now, you're going to fold each corner to the top. And unfold. Now, you're gonna take um one of these layers on the top, so like separate them and get this, and you're fold it down to right here. Now, here comes the fun part. What you're gonna do? Here, by the way, it looks like this. And now, you're going to um. You're going to fold these along the existing creases and tuck them into this pocket. So if you can see, I just push and get them in. As, as, like I said, it's four steps, so there's literally one step left. I recommend, this, I like this origami because it's really useful, but it's literally the easiest origami I know. That, at least that I designed. It's going to look like this. Now, last step. You want to fold it here. You're going to basically tuck that flap in. And when you have, I'm just going to use a card, a book, you can just put this on the page. Put the thicker side on the, on the side you're on the side of the page you're on and it sticks on really well. For example, I have this for a book I'm reading in school. Stand for a long flunk's bedtime. I hope you enjoyed the video and bye!